And I'm thankful for the lessons and the blessings. It's a Kelly Clarkson song. Whoa. Oh, really like, are we like now demonetized Carl right out of the Carly, gate? Yeah. Carly's first solo performance. <laughs> no, Wait, that was like my third. Oh, Kelly please. Clarkson has a Thanksgiving song? No, no, no. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> 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 the stuff. I don't know. Wait, did you guys know that Jingle Bells was originally supposed to be a Thanksgiving song? Yes. What? Jingle I, all the way? Jingle Bells. Oh, what that, fun it is to ride on uh, one horse open sleigh. That's literally yeah. about Santa Claus. I think I actually put it in here because I saw it yesterday. It was originally titled One Horse Open Sleigh. Oh, yes. It says, before becoming a Christmas holiday anthem, Jingle Bells was an 1857 song titled One Horse Open Sleigh, and its composer James Pierpoint intended it to be a Thanksgiving Day song, but it became so popular around December 25th that in yeah. 1859, the title was changed to Jingle Jingle Bells. 1859? Uh-huh. That's, okay, yeah, that makes more 1859. sense. 1859, oh yeah, gotta get that. Well, I'm just Jingle saying. Jingle Bells existed before the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> the alleged moon landing. <laughs> when did Jingle Bells Batman smells Robin, Robin laid an egg. It's a Batman Yeah. It's crazy 94. How that went viral before the internet. Like, yeah. it was just a Batman playground Robin thing. Robin laid an it's egg. It's crazy. Like, yeah, the Batmobile lost, lost its wheel, wheel and, and the Joker, Joker does ballet. ballet. Hey! Oh, I thought the Joker ran away. No, oh, that's not ballet. 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 before He, he was ran doing away. ballet. Yeah. Have we you done know? a Thanksgiving episode yes. before? Yes, we did one. Okay. So hopefully we're not repeating anything. I feel like it's also. I. With the repeating stuff, I don't think everyone has seen every second yeah. of every episode. Yeah. So, like, there's going to be people that have not seen certain things but even if we repeat there will be people that are like, you've already said this. Yeah. yeah. Will... And their name is Aaron. Well, I only say it because I don't want people <laughs> no, to be I like, we, we already fucking talked about I this. Know, I was I only doing it to look out for you, but now I'm not going to say a word. Uh, <laughs> if you guys don't give a shit, then. No, I do. I do. I do. Did you guys? No, no, I mean, like, the internet. Because oh. they were like, it's so annoying when Aaron tells them they already told this story. But the only reason I was saying oh. it was because I was like. I don't want them oh, to be annoyed that we're people are annoyed that you're stuff. telling us that yeah. we've already... That, yes. I thought you meant like... They are yeah. also annoyed at... Is it me? You're pointing yeah. at me. Here we when, go. When you're like, they don't care about this. And like you you stop the oh. conversation We're talking about hand. location <laughs> specifics in <laughs> no. a shopping mall <laughs> for five minutes. That's why I'm like, all right, <laughs> this is not that interesting to our listeners. I'm just telling you what the people Sorry, are saying. To the left of Payless. Yes. <laughs> across from the Target. <laughs> Apparently they like and the parking structure at that place yeah. too. Oh yes, they do a, have... a parking structure is the best, and then D is the worst. I hate it though when someone's telling a story and they're like, "Okay, so this happened last week. I think it was Monday. Oh, no, no, it was Tuesday. Uh, no, it was Tuesday. Tuesday. Wait, Tuesday. No, was it? Hold yeah. on. And we Wait, were. We do do that. <laughs> we do it on our podcast. We need to like stop doing that. Probably. I think it's because like ours is so like we're just talking to each other. Yeah. Um, we're all being super fake here, so it's yeah. <laughs> no, but it's like we don't see each other over the weekend or whatever, so we're like oh. genuinely just like catching, catching up, up and being like, oh yeah, it's not like that place, and like I forget sometimes that we're even recording. Yeah, what was yeah. the phrase Matt said at lunch today? The the type of clothing you want to purchase? A traditional Americana classic prep or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most wild description of clothing I've ever heard in my entire life. It's like the name of like a coffee order. But like, yeah. we, were, we were talking at lunch and Matt was talking about how he wants like a store that sells something like The Gap but also no, Uniglo. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. I just, I just wish there was a traditional Americana prep store that I could go like. For cheaper. <laughs> yeah. For cheaper. Yeah. yeah, it's a brilliant way to speak. Thank you. Tra I would never form that sentence. Yeah, on a my traditional own Americana prep. This is like the stuff I Google. Traditional <laughs> Americana. I would be like polo, but cheaper. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Matt, I you will in the... say, I Go did. Ahead. Um, I did, did a little research yesterday to see what we did talk about last Thanksgiving, as to not repeat. Mm. fully repeat. Because I was sure. like, oh, did I do fun facts? It was very much like. Our experiences. It's like, what foods do we like? like it oh, was yeah, all yeah. like the basic stuff. And we did, did we like, talk about food. when we were in kindergarten? Did you guys ever do like a Thanksgiving dinner in kindergarten where it was pilgrims and Indians? Yeah, Native yeah. Americans. Yeah. And we did yeah. like a play. Yeah. Yeah. Which, no, we dressed up. Definitely not cool. Like, making like <laughs> noodle necklaces oh, for like yeah. the Native yes. Americans. Like what kind of they were like well, getting us canceled well, before we had even gone out to the real world. But now we know it's because history is whitewashed yes. and yes. like we're never being told the truth. And like I think it's obviously like don't it's so stupid when people are like you dressed up as an Indian, a Native American when you were in 1993. Yeah. No, literally, <laughs> and it's like okay, well that's what we were being taught. Yes, yeah. like that was I, teacher's I don't fault. Know. Do they still if sing you're that? Doing so it now, like. 
maybe do some like, research and understand why that's in, offensive. Yeah. A headdress. Do you remember that song? Like they would teach us, like pilgrims and Indians eat together. Pilgrims. That is scary. On Thanksgiving <laughs> Day. That was the story. That that's oh like yeah, really the, hypnotizing we you. came over <laughs> here and they introduced us <laughs> to their seeing that in elementary school. Pilgrims and they and no, literally, they're like they were savages. Oh yeah, they um, still you still hear that I movie know. sometimes. It's crazy if you go and watch a movie from like the seventies. Oh. And like a woman try or like not maybe not the 70s like the 40s and the 50s if a woman tries to say something a man just goes get a hold of yourself and he'll just like, <laughs> just like hit so a woman. There, there's a, a movie that Ronald Reagan was in and he this, a woman? yeah this woman's like about like trying to say something he goes you know what I think about that and he just fucking whacks this woman across oh the face yeah, and then he became the president. Mad. That's why Matt got married. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you guys excited for the Thanksgiving movie that's coming out? What movie? Oh, you the like, Eli the Roth movie. with Addison Rae. Oh. oh, I don't. I've never seen a trailer for it, but I've like heard of it. Oh yeah, it's been like all around LA. It's like okay. Thanksgiving. It comes out on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, I think it comes out on the seventeenth. So whatever. In theaters. Yes, in Probably. theaters. Wow. And there's football games on Thanksgiving too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was always mind blowing to me because, like, growing up, my Thanksgiving is we have family coming over. Like, my mom's in the kitchen getting ready, and then you turn oh. on the TV. And I'm just always thinking, like, what, don't they have to get to, to dinner? I like, know, I would think so, yeah. <laughs> right. They miss Thanksgiving. Yeah, do like, they miss a lot of holidays sports players do. Oh, yeah. I mean, also all the, all the fans going the there, too. Like, our Christmas Day, I always think it's, like, crazy that fans are going to see, like, an NBA game on Christmas. I mean, I guess that's cool. Like but like, just imagine thing. you, like, oh, yeah. lose your game. Like, you go to see the Lakers play at home, yeah. and they lose on Christmas, and now it's, it's like... It's Christmas, and I gotta get stuck in a parking lot? Yeah, absolutely yeah. Just, like, the holiday... I feel like holidays gotta have the vibe of, like, the day. Yeah. But for I guess for some people, that's... Or running... God, that's the, the meme. I don't want to marry into a family that runs a 5K oh, on Thanksgiving absolutely morning. absolutely not. <laughs> a turkey trot? Are there, there's actually people that do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah tons. They wake up on Thanksgiving morning. A lot of people will get, like, drunk and do it. And it's not run. that serious. It's only a 5K. How long is a 5K? Like three miles or something. Oh. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's like three point something miles. Okay. It's I five kilometers. I before that, though. I, yeah. It's fine if you don't know your measurements. Do you guys all, are you going home all this year for Thanksgiving? No. no. Well, you're going somewhere for like two weeks. Yeah, because we have a wedding the weekend before Thanksgiving. Oh that's already in Birmingham, so... Oof. So you're going to Patricia's? Yeah, I was wondering yeah, what all going the to dates Patricia's, were. And then for Christmas, we'll go and see my family for like a little bit and then do Christmas with her family. Nice. Yeah, it'll you be nice. You're going to Birmingham for two weeks? Pretty wow. much. Close to it. And then uh, we're going to the we Iron... <laughs> then we're going to the Iron Bowl. <laughs> the uh, What is that? It's a football the iron, game. It's a big football game that happens after Thanksgiving and it's Alabama versus Auburn. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Iron Bowl. Iron Bowl. Oh, yeah. ba -da 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 -da. Are you all going to the Iron Bowl? Are you I, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? I'll be here. Um, I think there's a kickball game I got in invited to. Maybe I'll do okay, that. that's so fun. Yeah. If you guys want to come, I can send you the, the link. Oh, yeah. yeah. Corny's throwing it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Average fashion blogger, you know her? Oh, yeah. She's yeah. doing like a... <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if Corny, that, whatever yeah. Instagram names. Uh, so I'm, I'm probably going to do that in the morning. I do. If you do that donating thing, though, I may join I you for know. that. It's, oh, I don't know why they make it so hard to volunteer. Like, I literally planned my Thanksgiving for Friday so I could volunteer on Thursday. And it's like at a kitchen uh, delivering meals like oh. a couple years ago. Oh. I went around and you basically pick up meals from a place like whatever, 30, yeah. 50 meals. And you drive around to like yeah. people who are in assisted living or like medical living yeah. places. And you I've done that meal. or I've done not delivering the meals, but I've been like in a kitchen saw a video serving up meals on <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's good. Before I texted you, I was like looking at other services, but like on their websites, they like don't really have any information. And like when you email them, like I haven't heard back. Yeah, I, I mean these people are usually pretty overworked and under uh, yeah. paid. Morgan said <laughs> that he tried to one time um, volunteer at the children's hospital, but they're I mean it's like kids, so I think you have to like kind of go through a couple steps, mm -hmm. and they denied him. <laughs> Well, he does look like a teddy bear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're probably like, you, they, you're too scary. He's like, tattooed neck tattoos. head to toe. Yeah. Like, scraggly. But he he's have... like, he is the nicest yes, person. Yes. Does he have face tattoos? No. Uh, okay. He has me tattooed on him. They could put him like, like in a turkey. Like Aaron or the word me? No, me. Uh, me. He like a tattooed for mine and TJ's <laughs> wedding. He tattooed fan art on his leg that, that people like, drew silly. of me and TJ. Wow. It's, yeah, it's like. It's like a silly yeah, I mean, when you it's when cute. you have that many, you may as well just throw another exactly. one. Exactly, it's you, just like funny. 
if you're if you have a friend putting together a friendsgiving dinner and you got to bring something what are you whipping up do you have a go-to recipe that you like to make or you oh, like just stopping yeah. off I at chick-fil-a the, the best hack i make my what pumpkin cheesecake bars oh, oh what oh, they're so good well you should come over on friday i would love to yeah i'll come oh will you be there yeah, yeah. Ah, yes yeah i throw like a whole thanksgiving really mm -hmm. on friday mm -hmm. that's what my parents do too we do a shabbat dinner the next day of yeah. thanksgiving for like what's your hack you go to the <laughs> local grocery store like ralph's and you just you pick up pie. like a pie or something that they make there you take it out of that packaging and then you just put it in like one of your home packaging like put foil on it and, and say you, you whipped it, it up yeah I someone I I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, no. I I, I, I know it. people that have done that. Like, you lie when you come in. You're like, oh, I slaved yeah. all day <laughs> making this. No, I know. So you better someone, all have a slice. I know someone that did that, and I thought it was brilliant. I saw someone be like, "What? You made this?" And they're like, "No, no, I didn't really make it." And I was like, uh, "Oh, that's brilliant." It, but I know that I'm a terrible kitchen cook. person, so I would go, and usually I would. I think it's like buying two or three things because if you're just buying it. I think what I'm gonna be a buffalo chicken dip kind of guy. Ooh, like with, yeah. every time I'm watching a buffalo chicken dip recipe, I probably have saved like ten <laughs> on my phone. You just call it tea gif. Tea gif for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Tea gif. Tea gif. Thanksgiving. Whatevs. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the hand. <laughs> tea gifs. Um, it's my favorite season of the it's year. It's also always just easy to bring alcohol. Yeah, oh, like that's a bottle true. of wine. Yeah. yeah. Like for our Thanksgiving, it's like we're cooking, but then there are people that were like. Marf and Danny like she's like I want to make the mashed potatoes so it's not and then like with Carly I was like no one can make green bean casserole will there be but it's not any like, vegetarian options yeah we have a vegan coming and a gluten free person coming but I think that she's not really gluten free anymore I don't care about the gluten oh that's my favorite meme so it's a guy at a counter and a person and he goes is this gluten free and they go no it costs money <laughs> <laughs> so dad joke. yeah I'll find that's out what they're dad making joke. specifically oh, the, the I would vegan. love to come um what was I going to say? Oh, I wanted to bring it up. We were on Joe's podcast. Oh, yeah. And he was like talking about Thanksgiving food. And he said that he mashed, too. Yeah, he did. mashed yeah. potatoes are not Thanksgiving food. Which is just like a I mean, horrible lie. Joe's just a dumbass. Yeah. He was like, you can eat them on other days of the year. Yeah, but it's, so like, it's not you a can Thanksgiving eat turkey food. on other days of the year. You can eat mac and cheese on other days. Yeah. The only thing is like cranberry shit. Do you guys know what the chemical is in Turkey that makes you tired? Trip Trip to fan. fan, but apparently that's not even true. Really? It's yeah, the same is, amount of like, trip to fan that's in chicken and all the other foods. People like what? It's yeah. just because you're scam? consuming forty five hundred calories. Yeah, we should have done this in our other. <laughs> in our yeah, scam. because you're consuming <laughs> it's so much food. You, yeah, and like all these carbs and yeah desserts and everything. Of so course, the average American is forty five hundred calories in the day. What? Not Joe. I'll Joe tell you, like calories. hot dogs are not a Thanksgiving food. Hot dogs? Like that, I could, if you say, hey, I do hot dogs, oh, you're like, okay, oh, that's yeah. not a Thanksgiving yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mashed well, potatoes has no claim. I feel like different parts of the country, like I never had mac and cheese at Me our neither. Thanksgiving. Me neither. I never heard of that. It's gotta be good like mac and cheese. Like, it sounds like a southern thing. Oven. I don't like, like sometimes like southern Someone's mac and cheese. Someone's making mac and cheese actually. It doesn't hit. Is it cold in Texas? Mac and cheese? No, no, no the, the weather. weather. Like, do, are you like, <laughs> like when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of like you really cold, putting on a coat. It's I like freezing. Done, I don't think I've done Thanksgiving in Texas in years. But yeah, it's cold. Like growing up, it's cold. like, it, does it feel, because like here in LA, it's 80 degrees right now. Yeah. It's insane. Well, it's weird because the, like last year, once the sun goes down, like we were freezing yes. but i got like heat lamps for outside oh. i got them again for this year Is it, didn't you just like have a restaurant place? style heat lamps or yeah like the yeah like the big ones oh wow didn't you recently have a heat lamp controversy where like you ordered extra or oh, something for the baby shower? yeah i threw a baby shower and i got a heat lamp in case i got just one well, actually, I got two, but then it wound up being 100 degrees <laughs> that weekend. And I was like, can I, like, return these? Like, obviously, I don't need to use them. And they were like, sorry, but, like, you have to meet this, like, minimum. Oh. So I was like, okay, trade them for umbrellas. Oh, did you trade them in? <laughs> I traded one for an umbrella. And we mm -hmm. turned the other one on. <laughs> Is it propane tank? Like, yeah. Yeah. It? God, anything with a propane tank, I'm like... I'm scared I, of. I, I, I wish touch. I was a grill guy, but just... It's the idea of the propane tank that freaks me out. Yes. <laughs> because I like when you're at a restaurant and they turn on the heater next to you, I'm always like, oh, God. And then there's it's people like smoking yes. cigarettes near like a propane tank. Guys, I'm just guys, like, guys, what do you think is going to happen? It'll blow up. Yeah, it's not a James Bond movie. Wait, it's, it can't blow up. You never know. 
I mean, it's like so. I don't think there's. I don't know if there's ever been. I'm not. I haven't looked this up. I can't imagine there's a record of a propane tank blowing up and injuring someone. That's I, used the I right way. I'm just the oh. biggest wuss when it comes to like. We have. They, a lot. I have one sitting in my yard right now. Yeah, we have like three of them, and like whenever we have a fire, I'll always like be laying in bed and be like, "Did you turn off the propane tank?" Or like when he yeah. grills, I'm like, "Did you turn off the propane tank?" But I think you can like leave them on. Yeah, you can. But the reason I'm to turn like, them off is so that I mean, I don't want to do any fire safety here, but the reason to turn them off is so they don't leak and you don't waste the gas. Do you want me to call my dad and ask? Yeah. You can. I, but I just can we figure out technologically <laughs> wise to make something heat up a space that's not like gas, gas. powered. I don't know. Yeah. So I don't get why those heat lamps are also so high at restaurants. Because heat rises. So when you're the sitting at this level and the heat's already up here, it's just like burning it up into the high, yeah, like I people just run into it. floor level. But I feel like if it was floor level, you'd get hotter. That's the, but then you, you can turn it down and do less. Hotter? I hardly Like yesterday. Know yesterday. Yesterday you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You'll call now. Oh, what I'll is this, now. a movie? No. no, it's a commercial. It's, it's the most famous commercial of all time. Yeah, they like played it on Today's every- Today's gonna be a scorcher. That like one? yesterday, yeah, or, yesterday. Or, yeah, that's no, that's it. That's the yeah, first yeah. line. He's reading the newspaper. Oh, she goes, "It's for well. Sears." Yeah, yeah. Oh, go you, get your cat. You never saw this? I'm sure I did. I just don't have like the nostalgia. It's like ingrained in yeah. my brain. Someone commented, "Was like Aaron not remembering your childhood? Is there trauma involved? Like people <gasps> are like very concerned oh. about not knowing your childhood." Did you have a traumatic childhood? <laughs> not that I know. I of. don't think so. I mean, I don't know. But... Maybe I'm like Whitney from Salt Lake. Like I don't, I, I don't remember my trauma. And then one day it'll just come <gasps> to me. Let's get you into therapy and let's figure it out. That's okay. <laughs> no, I want to know. And then I don't care then... that I don't remember anything. Do you yeah, but think probably... if you had, and I'm not like only child, like shaming or anything but i'm just like curious like do you think if you had it a, a sibling would you have like maybe remember things a little bit better oh because you have someone to like Honestly, banter back like remember this yeah, remember probably. that because my brother and i we do that all the time yeah, to just like, go remember this for... you know i feel like yeah. a lot of the memories i do have are like i was really close with my cousins it, they were basically like they call me like their fifth sister oh yeah so like i remember a lot of stuff that i'm doing with them but like stuff Day -day by myself stuff? Like, yeah. i don't know that's crazy. I remember so much of my childhood for some reason. I lo I've been Matt's been helping me uh, feel better about the seasons. Like Matt's very into like, oh well, it's it's uh, Halloween oh. season now. It's th Thanksgiving season. So like in the morning now, I have the uh, big TV and I'll put on like a Charlie Brown Christmas thing, yeah. or just like a Charlie, and just like playing on the TV, and then yeah. it will like loop to the next one. And I just yes. love this like you yes. know it's November. Lean into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it makes you feel like you experience the time. Because yes. like sometimes like whole season will go by. You're like I felt like I never really felt the Christmas spirit or like the oh. fall season or the yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm like I love feeling that helped it. this year too. Nolan and I watched a lot of like Halloween movies, and like we carved pumpkins, and we had like a pumpkin show on in the background while we were doing yeah. it. And it felt it does it does help. It like, feels it does good feel to like, like participate in the yeah the feeling of the moment. Have you guys bought like any like uh, candles and stuff? Are you like making your home smell like the fall? Um, I bought one for uh, like like the pumpkin fall. one. Yeah, yeah. It's um. <laughs> there's this girl on Instagram called half baked harvest and she released a candle with sniff co and it is so good what does it smell like like a pumpkin mm. and like it's really good i love a cinnamon candle it's also like See, a candle that you can just have out that you don't look, even have to light and it, it just nice. smells illuminates good. the <gasps> yeah. space oh. i always wanted to do like you get the stove going you put some cinnamon in it oh, with I've like some cider oh, and then yeah. put some like thyme or We've like some orange that. slices Wait, oh, I do, yeah i see tiktoks really? of it yeah and does it work? Does it smell real good? Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard, it apparently makes your home smell amazing. We did it once when our roommate, the cooked cook fish, cooked fish in the microwave. Oh Aaron did god! The whole, and it helped. But even I if think. you're making like a cider, it's so nice to just yeah. put it on the. I've stove. seen those. Yeah, it's like a boiling pot of water. They'll put like apples and a stick of cinnamon yeah. and some. Yeah. I think Babs has done it. Like, hey, it's Babs. You got people coming oh, over. Oh yeah. Whip up this. Makes your home smell good, and people always <laughs> love it. I love the Babs. Accent. Um, do, this happened to me. Uh, Who's like a, Babs? a week ago. On TikTok, like it's like the internet's favorite grandmother, and she just gives you like oh, life hacks tips. for parties and hosting. Oh, oh, She's cute. awesome. When you have a guest over, you're like we have a guest over, dude, this is my little secret. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she sounds so cute. Um, this happened to me last week though. Uh, Patricia was out of town, and I woke up and I was like, <laughs> smelled like mint, like sharp. It felt like somebody had like chopped up fresh mint yeah. leaves in my bedroom and i was like 
what is that? Like, am I having first, a stroke? First, I thought it was yeah. a stroke, which is something I just learned recently oh, about. Did every you time smell... I smell something, I'm like, stroke. Yeah, no. <laughs> if I ever smell something burning, I'm like, oh, I'm definitely having a stroke Did right you now. always know that? Yeah. That, yeah. Oh, I was watching the movie River Wild with like Adam Brody or whatever. And, I uh, say it to TJ until, all the time. And she goes, is someone I'm like, a toast? do you smell that? The Bo, the Bur Burn Bo Burnham song, if if your house like smells like smoke. And then it's about having a seizure? It's about having a stroke. Whoa, oh, whoa. I didn't know that until I looked up, like, why is Bo Burnham talking about if it smells like smoke? Yeah. So, like, anyways, I learned that. So then I start getting paranoid. I'm, like, Googling, like, is something wrong with me? Because I'm, like, it smelled like mint. Were you like, investigating, like, peppermint. a dog, like, yeah, like yeah, sniffing around like trying to find where it was? Okay, it felt specifically like someone, peppermint. It felt like I had a mint thief come in the night <laughs> and just chop up <sighs> mint. Was it the go, middle of the night? Like, you woke no, up? No, just... In the morning, oh. freshment, and I'm going crazy. And then suddenly, I just I Google um, I mean, one smell in the morning if that means anything, and people like think, "Oh, you're smelling something weird." So I'm freaking out about that, thinking like I have like a tumor. Oh god! And then I learned that oh, apparently, if you live in an old house and if the pipes are from the 70s and 80s, <laughs> a, and when you smell peppermint, that means your piping is going bad. <gasps> So then I'm like, of course, something else is wrong with this damn place, which I love my place with Patricia, but it's old. There's yeah. always something going wrong. So then I'm like convinced and I'm sending Patricia and I'm like, we have to get all brand new pipes. Can you believe this? And she goes, babe, no. Sarah McKendrick brought over like this peppermint scented like thing, like an air freshener that I never knew that we like had. And that's why the place smelled like fucking mint. Oh my God. So I was just, I went down a whole rabbit hole yeah. and I realized. It was oh, just I, a, love I love like a peppermint vanilla mix. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I love those peppermint candies. You don't see them around anymore as, as much as you used to. You, oh well, yeah, well it's because they have the better ones now that are like chalk, and then they just like dissolve in your mouth. Like the ones they give out. Oh no, that's an East Coast based restaurant. Mm. <laughs> but uh, I, you know what I hate is cookie dough scented. Uh, hand soap, hand. hand soap. Oh, my parents! Every room in my, every cookie bathroom dough? in my, it's in my parents' the, house uh, is uh, like, bath, bath yeah. yes, sugar uh, yes. cookies. Yeah. I remember my sugar mom cookie. would get it, and my dad yes. would be like, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> now my hands smell like oh, cookies, sin. so I want to go wash my hands because yeah. they smell like cookies, just, and they still too, smell it's like too cookies. strong. I really just want a clean smell. That's uh, all I want. Yeah. Dude, every room in my parents' house since I was in high school, my mom goes to Bath and Body Works just to buy the craziest gingerbread cookie bake Hawaiian beef house like yeah. and my friends always would make fun of me like why do you have this no. insane soap that's why i, have I one. love it i, think I it's have great. one that ju if you know you know the myers snowdrop oh, yes the myers snowdrop, snowdrop? <laughs> it is you don't even the know. best smelling scent to it. i wish i had it all year but they only put it out during this well, time oh, they, really? they, send, send us more they sent me a shit ton that lasted me like a year is meyer a candle brand uh mrs yeah, meyer is like a whole brand. is it like chic Cleaning. or is it like yankee candle where there's like no, a whole no, it's, it's like a, you'll, it, you'll recognize it, it looks like a health brand it's, oh, yeah. they have soaps in the snow drop it smells Miss, so good man look he described the smell uh, to me it's like vanilla y minty <laughs> oh my like god Aaron is transporting it's almost right like a perfume <laughs> no like my nipples are legitimately hardening <laughs> as no, I think what do about you this think, describe it as like a perfume almost no no I wouldn't wear that as a perfume okay. but like they oh Idiot. my god it's so <laughs> good. I just ran out of Jeez. I had like a um like a surface cleaner. Yeah. Can we and buy I, it on eBay, maybe? Wait, maybe it's out at Target. We gotta go to Target. Yeah. Well, I took Carly there one time because I was like, Carly. It was like so stupid. Smell but... this soap. And she was like, it's so good. And I was like, I gotta go to Target. I gotta get like a bunch of them. And I bought like 10 of them. Easy. And then they wound up <laughs> and then, well, I was sure, like, man? I bought it for the whole year. And then they wound up seeing the video and they sent me a ton more, including like the candle, the cleaner. It was the All candle. snowdrop stuff? Yeah. Matt, it's so good. I just Let's... love the names of scents. Like, I would love to be on a scent team and <laughs> instead around me like thinking snowdrop <laughs> like this brand well veering a little bit more into thanksgiving you know jones sodas yes they used to do this thing where they would sell like a holiday pack and it was kind of like a joke but it would be for thanksgiving and it would be like stuffing flavored mm. and it would be turkey flavored mashed potatoes and gravy flavored and they were all drinks so like i wanted i still want to try them just to see what they taste like uh, so there bad. is a place called nostalgia for this soda for, for so years. long and i've never tried it years. i know we gotta try what's it called J dr jones jones, jones soda jones i don't know soda. what that is. jones soda uh you could also like submit pictures yeah. to be on jones soda mm -hmm. yeah hmm. i ain't got a clue 
because my, my trauma because <laughs> your childhood trauma can you imagine maybe you had a sibling that you like i ate no yeah. i was i maybe was a miracle murdered, baby you murdered you a miracle your sibling. baby yeah how so because my mom like wasn't because look at her she's a miracle yeah. i know like, what a miracle baby a is miracle oh that's like a real term oh isn't i thought it's like your rainbow child or... rainbow child is if you've had a miscarriage and then you uh, have a kid after and then there's a love child well yeah that's, that's like married. if you have an affair <laughs> Yeah, that's I think what a love child Wait, is. Like a bastard. <laughs> it's like a nice term Wait, for a love. Wait, is there a confession child. in teen? No, you're Wait, you're not what? a child of love. Oh, in, in confessions of a teenage drama queen, right? Eliza or whatever, yeah. she goes and tells her friends that she was like a, a love, love child. child. Yeah, that means that she was born out of wedlock. Yeah. Okay, but really, that's not. But I think true it's because she was like hippie. She's like, I'm a love child. Wait, yeah, what's yeah. a golden child? Like you're the best kid of them all. Yeah. Oh, that's because me. my okay, my half brother and his wife. They only have one. They have a ton of kids, but they only have one that's like from them combined. And, and they, they call. Ca I don't know what Ooh, they call. That. No, it might not be golden. I don't remember what they call it. I think real? they call it their love child. My real child. Yeah. No. 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 It's not I know. Really I like, know. Oh, no, they're very sweet. They've like adopted children. Like they're. It's a whole thing. But it's well. Then I hope they're definitely not calling it a golden child. I don't know what they call it. Wait, honey, like, is our golden child at home? Oh no, yeah. just the others. Okay. Well, they don't say it like that. No, I know. I, like, I know. He's our golden child or something. But it's a term that I know that they're saying because it's the only one they've had together. Oh. I don't know what it's called. Do they say that in front of their kids? No. Oh. Okay. So a rainbow baby is after a miscarriage. Correct. But okay, this is going to sound maybe ignorant, but don't a lot. It's okay. Don't yes. get canceled. Uh, yeah. A lot of first pregnancies end in miscarriage because, like, for a woman's body to like do I that, think miscarriages are extremely more common. common right. But in... we've been told that like it's a shameful thing and to never talk about it. Right. And I right. think that yes. a lot of people have probably had. A miscarriage and you would never know yeah. like right. not a lot of people openly speak about it yes but then usually if once you have the first one then you like are no no some people just i know at least three different people the who their first when they first got pregnant yes. it was a miscarriage and then like a year later they gave birth yeah and i was told from them that like doctors have explained to them that this is like yeah but people can like more common have a than miscarriage you then have another, another miscarriage. Well, yes, yeah. yes. Then have another miscarriage. That's yes, but the first one is yes. It we, in like our society, it's like a hush hush thing, and like oh, this never yeah. happens. And but I feel like maybe we should destigmatize that. No, Here, good influences. Hundred percent. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially because what's I that feel podcast like... about? Oh yeah, they destigmatize. <laughs> they talk about Thanksgiving and miscarriage. <laughs> <laughs> in the same podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, but my mom basically like you know they like tried for so long and like mm -hmm. couldn't. She was like, I didn't think I could have a kid, and then like oh. here I was. Yeah. Oh, Thank I don't God. like the name. I don't like the name miscarriage. Miscarriage. <laughs> what would you rather it be called? Oopsie. I don't know because it sounds like the care. It, it it feels like it's like the name of it seems like it was like some. It was like the carrier's fault. Oh, interesting. You know, like. I don't know. Well, Every time, like when I was a little kid and I heard what a miscarriage was, I was like, "So she messed up, like, oh, carrying it, it's like, like it's your blame. Well, And obviously, to that's be fair, not that's true. Probably just then... how they framed it, then. right? When they first like, it, wrote, it yeah. the woman's fault. Probably. probably. I think that's strange... why people still don't talk about it because, like, they like, feel yes. so... the language of it yeah. is important. Yeah, yeah. 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 The language I just, really yeah, I wish it had like a different name because I don't know. I feel like, yeah, yeah it carries some weight to it. It does. Yeah. Yeah. That's like one of those old phrases that's just... Ah, was a miscarriage. Well, yeah. The, the, the one that we now still... she's getting a lobotomy. Like, <laughs> the, uh, the word master bedroom. Oh, I thought you were going to say master bedroom. No. <laughs> oh, oh, now well, you don't say, say master bedroom. No, we don't say, say master bedroom. Yeah. Can you still... Can, okay, like master splinter on Teenage Mutant Ninja no, Turtles. No, that's because he's, <laughs> he's a karate master. Yeah, master. Is that still allowed? No, it's like yeah, the yeah, yeah. master lived in the big bedroom. Okay, right. Okay. So what do they call it? The primary room, right? Primary, yeah. Pokemon master? Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I think Pokemon. No, I think fine. it's like you're the master of this um, profession. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Master Splinter is fine, I think. I, but, I think it's just because of during yes. the time slavery existed. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. The slave owners, these would be their right. rooms. And that is why they called it the master's room. Got right. it. So masturbation is. No, masturbation's fine. Primary bation. Have we talked about the difference between a living room and a den? <laughs> yes. So many, so many times. Where do you yeah. eat Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, uh, in the in dining room. In the living room or the den? In the dining room. In my bathroom. <laughs> 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 I'm just pooping as I'm eating. Sorry, that was a weird um, noise at that at all. 
Did I you guys some... ever? Go ahead. Oh, oh I, was... I did have a fact about the turkey trot. Okay. What is the turkey trot? Is that the 5K? Yeah, yeah. the first one ever was in the 1890s. Huh? In Buffalo, ran New York. For fun. Like, yeah, like, yeah, that doesn't. But they sound... didn't like know what it was. That no, well, it says that. Only... Well, just running, eh? It's kind of funny. <laughs> no, it's funny because it says it was in the 1890s. Buffalo was the first city to host it, and only six people participated. That sounds about right. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Also, another fun fact was that Ben Franklin wanted the wanted the turkey to be the national bird, not the bald eagle. That's one of my Roman empires, actually. He said, <laughs> for my own part, I wish the bald eagle had not been chosen the representative of our country. For the truth, the turkey is, in comparison, a much more respectable bird. Oh, my God. I, every time I see oh, an eagle, like in American, like patriotic like, imagery, turkey. I'm like, it could have been a turkey. It and it says, been although he didn't get his wish, his letter did inspire a song in the Tony winning musical 1776 about the drafting of the Declaration of Independence. Whoa. You think I, the turkey would be a better thing no, for no, us? No, funny. I don't think that. I just think that, like, it's crazy it could have been. You can imagine just going to war with Iraq what? and, like, on the missiles was a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We wouldn't know any different. I mean, yeah, yeah. we wouldn't. The bald eagle, like, it just you, looks badass, dude. It, it no, really it, but does. it's funny. Could you imagine all the like? I know, like, <laughs> like all the Republicans now, like yeah. all their T-shirts are just a turkey. <laughs> and it's like land of the free. It might have changed. The, the, co- it might have changed yeah, the course gobble, of history, gobble. and we wouldn't have been such like a America, predatory maybe. warlike people. Totally. Hmm. Where maybe are the, we? Oh, never mind. I do have um, some fan horror stories. I didn't know if any of you had any like Uh, terrible. My mom, my mom responded to the uh, thing, or she texted me. She's like, "Oh "Oh my gosh, you gotta talk about that one time we did Thanksgiving in. We did it in Pacifica, California. It was like in near San near San Francisco, Um, and we did it because my cousins during that time were like living in Australia, and I was in LA, and we just thought it'd be a good middle ground to do it. Oh my god, all out um, in San Francisco." And we were like checking out of like the Airbnb, like the last day, really nice house right on the beach. And my mom was like trying to like clean the oven. And then she started a grease fire (gasps) and we're like already in the car, like packed up, ready to go. And she was like, I just gotta do a few final things. And she's like, come in, come in. And the whole place was just like, well, (laughs) it was just a severe grease fire. We were like, oh my gosh, we didn't know what to do. And we had to get, I think a fire extinguisher out, but Oh, it was fuck. the most serious looking like, like fire fire ever and we thought we were oh. gonna burn down this house Do you get oh. those ads on instagram for like the the fire stopper blanket no i for some reason i get a lot of ads on instagram about like this thing that's supposed to stop grease fires and the spokesperson is a black firefighter named matt king and he's always like <laughs> matt king <laughs> yes here. have you seen this you t- i think you texted uh, yeah, me it, 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 uh, matt gives me- king here. I think they probably show it to me because I watch it every time and I'm like, this is the of best course. thing I've ever seen. That's so cool. Uh, and it's basically just like when there's a grease fire, people think to use like water and that obviously yeah. makes it way fucking worse. Oh, yeah. What are you, right su- <laughs> what are you supposed, You're supposed to, to do? cover it with yeah. like, or like put it, put a lid on Take it or like off. put a, Away. yeah, you have to suffocate the air. If you pour water on it, there's like demonstrations. What if it's in the oven? Do we just shut the oven? Yeah. yeah. And just let it. It cuts off the oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Then never pour water on a grease fire. Did you guys do that accidentally once? It's in a, on a candle. It's in a vlog. It was like my whole crazy. apartment almost burned down. You filmed it? Yes. Well, because I was like, Carly, look at how the... crazy this is. It was like the candle itself, the wick was like a crazy flame. So then I was like, look at how crazy it's this like the wick whole top is. of the candle was just a big flame. Yeah. It was sitting on top of her stove. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so then I was like, oh, I got to put it out. And then so I just brought it to my sink and turned the water <laughs> on and it. <laughs> Wait, like, why is the like, candle like, grease like, in it? Up the wall. Is it know, wax? It, yeah. Is it a soy or wax? I don't know. I can't, maybe there was, did you like, were you cooking near it and oil splashed into no. it? I think when a candle goes like, r- is really like old flame. and like burns all yeah. the way out, it can. It was crazy and we were like, oh. no, we literally did not know what to do. I'll show you the vlog on the way back. That's so scary. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. It was like a really funny memory though. Because yeah, I saw my whole entire life flash before my eyes. Cause, <laughs> like I literally watched it like crawl up. Starting from age 18 because you have no memory of your childhood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, I have a couple like crazy stories from Reddit. One year my grandma accidentally poured dish soap on the turkey instead of oil. Mm. Might have been one of the funniest, most upsetting things I've ever seen. Um, have you guys oh, ever done no. that where you put laundry detergent in the dishwasher? 
Oh yeah, we did that in college one time, and then it was like you can do that. All or no, suds. I mean it's you're not. But like they, they, it's when pods came out. They made laundry pods and oh, dishwashing pods. Yes, and I had two roommates that were moving in with me, and they were living together beforehand. And we went to their house to like go hang out before they were going to move out. And he was like, "Oh yeah, you could just uh, throw that in, you know, throw it in the di- throw it in the washing machine, the dishwasher." And he's like, yeah, just grab a pod from under the sink. And I grabbed the pod it's and it was tied. a laundry pod. And they were using it for an entire year of living there. They were washing all of their dishes with laundry detergent. Ooh. And nothing happened. Yeah. Don't do that. Whoa. But I think it's insane. Maybe nothing happened since they were like pods and like, com- like you know, I mean, they didn't pour like a ton of it. It was just like yeah. a s- a tiny amount, amount. and then something. it rinses it all off. And it's still soap at the end of the day, as I understand it. But sure. Probably not the healthiest thing that they've done, but yeah. they did it for a year. That's pretty so, wild. folks out there, check to make sure you're putting your laundry pods in your laundry Damn. and your dish pods in your dishes. Do you guys put pods in your uh, laundry? No. Yeah. Oh, I do like the powder and then like I sprinkle it you in. You do powder oh. in your laundry? That's how Patricia does I, I it, like man. Detergent. That feels like from the 70s. Because, because you detergent. can, sometimes loads are different sizes, but with a pod every time, you're like... Well, you do one pod for a small load, two for medium, three for a big load. That's a lot. He does away do and Deadpool cool, sent a really, really freaking amazing smelling detergent for laundry. And like, was it Diva? All my clothes. No, I don't know what it's called, but all my clothes. Ugh, I like that, that new company that's making cardboard boxes. And then it's just a sheet that like will dissolve. So it's super eco friendly. And they ship them in cardboard. So you, you recycle the cardboard box. It's like this small. And for every laundry, you pull out what's like the size of a dryer sheet, but it's your laundry oh. detergent you put it in the laundry and then you're good like i got one in like a pr package or something but i thought they were dryer sheets so <sighs> i was putting them in the dryer because they look like dryer they sheets. look like dryer sheets they, I, they're like what kind of happened? blowing up now did Nothing. anything happen no they probably just disappeared yeah but it's a brilliant idea because like those things are you're basically just man whatever have you ever done a dryer sheet like on your hair yeah yeah i used to do that all the time Close. i would see like tiktoks of people doing that i'm like I yeah because it, it makes it the like, static yeah I would oh. bring it to do it in your clothes. I don't use those on your clothes. I think it's like really bad for you to use. I don't dry use them either. Yeah, you're not supposed to use them. They're only, terrible for you. Only if I'm washing like throw blankets because they get like super staticky. You know? Yeah, I thought they yeah. it eliminates static for like what blankets. You, it, yeah, but you just but if like, you just get wool balls, oh, they make yeah, like I, we have those. I have like 15 of them. I don't dry with just, anything. Usually. Me neither. Yeah, you don't you don't need to, but the wool balls help absorb a lot of the water and makes your clothes a little softer. But dryer sheets like. But the fact that we grew up with them, it's like pure chemicals, and then you're putting that on your skin, and then your skin absorbs the chemicals. Like, shouldn't be using dryer sheets ever. But wouldn't it be the same for detergent? Well, no, the detergent gets washed out. It rinses and spins it out. It still smells like it. Uh, I buy the non-scented detergents. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, I have one, I have one that's kind of like Okay, crazy. sorry. Um, well, I just want to do it so then she can get to hers. My mother and grandmother, gra- grandmother, my mother and grandmother had plans to go to a restaurant last year on Thanksgiving. My sister convinces them to go somewhere else last minute. Of course, this means no reservations, but sister is convinced that it'll be fine and they might just have to wait a few minutes for a table. I live in another state, so I get to experience all of this from a distance. They end up sitting at the bar while waiting for a table, having a few drinks and appetizers. After the second round of martinis, my mother looks over and my grandmother is leaning back in her chair, completely limp and unresponsive. Everyone freaks out. Paramedics are called. Grandma is rushed to the ER. I'm 1200 miles away. And when my mother calls to tell me what happened, when my mother calls to tell me what happened at this point, grandma is at the ER, still unresponsive, crazy low blood blood pressure and high heart rate. I'm ready to book plane ticket, a plane ticket uh, to rush to the airport when my mom calls back and says, don't worry, everything's okay. Your grandmother just got drunk. Her blood test came back completely normal, except the blood alcohol content of 0.24, 0.24, three times the legal limit. She was awake now, so I got to talk to her and she was crying. I'm so sorry, I've ruined Thanksgiving. I assured her that she hasn't ruined Thanksgiving and that everyone is just happy she's okay. So my grandmother, my grandmother is 90 years old, four, eight and 100 pounds. She hadn't eaten anything all day because she knew they were having a big dinner. She also ordered another martini while no one was looking. So the second martini was actually her third. <gasps> this turned into the perfect storm of a really drunk grandma. <laughs> That's how drunk Shannon Bador was when That's... she crashed into the house. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. Who was? She, a housewife. Oh. Shannon Fedora? Shannon Bador? Oh. Okay. Did you guys see the guy from Ferris Bueller crashed a Rivian into a house? Yeah, Alan Ruck. Alan. Couldn't believe that. I saw it on the Rivian subreddit. And it was like before we knew who it was. That's and I was what like, I saw too. I was like, oh my God, that's so crazy that happened. And yeah. then I was like, oh my God, it's a guy from Succession. How? Yeah. I thought people were commenting to him because they were making like a Ferris Bueller joke. And then I there didn't was a realize, lot of jokes. Oh my gosh, no, it actually is Alan yeah. Rock. Yeah. 
Um, did anything ever come out why it happened? No, I don't think so. Oh, you yeah. know, he was 30 years old when they filmed Ferry? Ferris Bueller. Yeah, wow. the only one who was actually genuinely like a high schooler age was the girlfriend. But and Matthew Broderick was also like in his mid 20s, too. The, I think that who was it? Oh, the parents. I just heard this on Conan's podcast. The two parents on Ferris Bueller met on the set of that show, got married, and now have a daughter my that dad like, lives in that, LA. Damn. My dad says that every time that movie's really? on. He's like, you know, they actually ended up getting married in, in real life. Conan just told a great story about it. He like met that girl at a skate shop in Venice or something, and she was like, yeah, my parents met on the set, and he met her. Wow. Yeah, she's like 20-something now. I wow. love Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, movie. that's a great Thanksgiving day. What's the day. Sausage King of Chicago? What's his name? I, I've only seen it like three times. I can't remember. Gabe from... Wow. You need your letterbox revoked. <laughs> <laughs> Delete it off your phone right Simple. fucking now. <laughs> Can you imagine? Sins? Yeah. Does what? Oh, Judaism, Judaism have, have sins? sins? What are they? So many. Oh. There's like, an unbelievable amount. Uh, well, are they sins or are they rules? Or <laughs> uh, yeah, guidelines. Kind of, yeah, there's 613 commandments. Six hundred and thirteen commandments. We got, we got ten. <laughs> the ten commandments. Yeah. Well, we only for got ten over here. Gentiles, there's only seven. <laughs> Jews say there's only seven rules Gentiles need to follow. Wow. And then they go. Oh, to the seven with the deadly rest of us. sins. No. Oh. It's called the seven Noahide laws. Anyway, there's so there's positive and negative commandments, and you can say that those are like. And but there's six. Six hundred and thirteen total. And some can be positive. Some can be negative. Like don't eat meat that is not kosher like if you eat that meat then you're committing a sin or like you do celebrate shabbat and so if you don't celebrate shabbat then that's a sin it's like if you do the opposite of what you're supposed to do and so like in christianity and catholics like you go and you repent your sins to like the priest you like go in a little box confession yeah yeah do you guys have that we do not have that Mm. we just have once a year with your guilt no, Yom Kippur once a year. That's oh, when yeah. you fast. You're like, this is how I want to it's be better. It's a yearly slate that gets wiped down. It's Yom Kippur? Yom Kippur. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's I'm explaining the Jew. No, 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 like, that's how I'm like, wait. Isn't it Yom Kippur? Yeah. I mean, it's spelled Yom Kippur. I say Yom Kippur. Are you sure? Yeah. It's, in English, it's whatever. Anyway, we're talking about Thanksgiving. That sounds like such a good musician name. Dude, Yom Kippur. Have you seen him? He's like, <laughs> he's insane. Like, his Pitchfork album got like an 8.5. Okay. These Yom are, Kippur. we're going on to your guys' write ins. Um, thank you for submitting. If you ever want to submit something, follow on our Instagram. We post to our stories when we do that on episode. Episodes, and you can email good influences podcast at gmail.com. So let's start. Sorry, this is like so tiny. So if I'm straining to read, <laughs> yo, that's super tiny. It's so little. We need to, we need an iPad. Why can't you screenshot it and then zoom in? One year <laughs> for Thanksgiving, I, 26 year old female, was getting ready to go to my brother's house for Thanksgiving. It was the first time he hosted and he was inviting his friends too, so I wanted to look cute. His friends are very good looking. I was in my bedroom doing my makeup and heard a massive bang in the main main area of the house. I was home alone. I froze and just stood there trying to listen if it was my imagination or if I really did hear something. All of a sudden, my two dogs were going nuts. They wouldn't stop barking. They only bark if someone at the, is at the house that they don't know. I ran into my closet and called my mom scared shit list. I asked if she was home yet, thinking maybe it was her. She said, no, I'm still driving on the freeway. What's wrong? She could hear the panic in my voice. I whispered, I think someone's in the house and explained what I heard. She knows I'm a prankster and asked if I was serious because she was on empty and didn't want to drive home before getting gas. I started crying and told her i'm dead serious all of a sudden another loud bang she even heard it through the phone and she heard the dogs barking and she said stay in your closet i'm coming she started to speed home going over 100 miles per hour she later told me in the meantime i called my sister who lives two blocks away she told me to stay inside the closet and she sent her husband to come check i was panicking i remember thinking if they're going to kill me i hope it's quick and painless i was trying to keep my dogs quiet so they wouldn't find us a few dreadful minutes went by what seemed like hours and i heard my brother-in-law and my mom talking inside the house so i rushed out of my room to see what was going on my mom had the most disappointed look on her face and my brother-in-law was standing there with a gun in his hand my eyes were still wide open and terrified still had tears going down my 
my face. I looked around and apparently I had left the eggs boil too long so they exploded. <laughs> <laughs> the pan went flying. Eggs were everywhere. Oh on the ceiling, God. across oh, no. the living room, all under the microwave. It was in fact not a murder. I just forgot I was boiling eggs. Oh, my mom oh, said, yeah. clean this shit up. I'm going to get gas and left. My brother-in-law didn't even say anything. He just drove away. Oh, my oh man. God. I don't know. Eggs exploded like that if you... That's a good prank. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, just, yeah, just, just be like, yeah, I'll be back in a, I'll be back in like thirty minutes. Um, and then just turn well, on the boil. You're boiling the egg and yeah. then it explodes. Yeah, I guess if you overboil an egg, how? Yeah. Over, wow. That's I a, crazy. I have a really quick story if you don't mind me telling. Yeah, yeah. Let's my it. best friend growing up, she had a nightmare that her, I, I think I'm telling this right. Her brother like died in a car accident. Like this was a dream she had. She woke up. But she thought it was real, so she called her sister, like, sobbing. She was like, Jordan's been in a car accident, I think he's dead, blah, blah, blah. And her sister was like, what the fuck? So she hung up and called her mom, oh their mom, and told her mom, and her mom thought the brother got a car accident. It was just, like, because of her dream. It was just, like, crazy Whoa. that, like, that went real life so fast. Holy shit. I had shit. a dream that you forced me to do stand-up comedy. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and you were like, Mike, you you can do it. Go do it. Just go. And I was like, I don't even have a set written. I can't do... I cannot just wing a 30-minute stand-up set. And 30 like, minutes. Yeah, it was yeah, a 30-minute 30 30 set. Minutes. And you were like, and you were like, Mike, come on. I, 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 you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then I got up there and I fucking killed it for 30 oh minutes. My God. And I like woke up laughing at my jokes and I, I <laughs> wish I could remember them because I remember like <laughs> so vivid. Fire. I was fucking... Killing it. It was so good. I like it makes me like want to write a stand-up set next. I feel like I could do it. You but go I, back to look at your dream and it's the scene in the Joker where he's just laughing. <laughs> I was invited to a friend's house for Thanksgiving with her family. I got there super early to help set up and get things ready as a way to thank them. My friend's mom had to go pick up relatives at the airport, so it was just me, my friend, and her two little sisters. One sister was around five and the other around eight. Last minute, my friend had to go get something from the store before it closed. She asked if I could watch her sisters while she left. I didn't mind at all because they were just coloring in the living room. After my friend left, I joined the girls on the sofa and was chatting with them while the younger one colored in her book at, on the coffee table and the older one sat next to me on the arm of the sofa. After a couple minutes, the younger one turned around, pointed over my shoulder and said, smoke. Alarmed, I turned around expecting to see something burning in the kitchen. After a quick glance, I didn't see anything. So I said, smoke where? And she said, hair, thinking she was just blabbering like little kids do. I didn't think anything of it. Then I smelt the it. I looked and saw her older sister's beautifully long black hair was past her waist, completely engulfed in flames <gasps> while sitting on top of the couch's arm. Needless to say, I freaked the fuck out and immediately threw the fireball child off the couch and started <laughs> slapping my hand to her sizzling hair rapidly. I'm sure there were better methods, but whatever, it was working. Of course, at that moment, my friend walked in and just saw me beating the <laughs> shit out of her little sister. No flames in sight. Oh my god. She pushed me away and grabbed her sister wide-eyed with accusations. Meanwhile, the youngest sister, who was the epitome of unbothered, was still coloring in and singing. Violet was on fire. Violet was on fire. Oh my god. Luckily, my friend heard me out and saw the signed the singed ends of her hair and realized what had happened. After a bath and impromptu haircut, Violet was perfectly fine. No burns or any injuries other than an awful I want to speak with the manager haircut. Moral of the story, blow out candles on end tables before letting kids sit on Ooh. the arm of the couch next to an open flame God. and she said in case you were wondering no i did not stay for thanksgiving dinner <laughs> <laughs> uh, one time i was in a car going to like a camp out i was like in college and it was like a social club like camp out so it was with like a bunch of people i wasn't like that close of friends with but it was like our first time like getting off campus like I can't wait for to go to a camp out tonight we're like let's smoke weed oh hell yeah we we're like cool. passing around like a bowl and i was in the back seat and like got a lighter and a girl's like man can you like light my bowl i'm like for sure and mm -hmm. i keep trying to like light it and then finally i'm like I, and then i get it i'm like all right good and as she's like taking a hit i look up at her and her whole bang <gasps> that exact same I thing happened to me singed it like on fire like I clearly did it when I was trying to light it and like, you know when like hair burns, it's like all like crispy, yes. it looks like yes. straw and yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, oh you my. tell her? No. <laughs> because we were new friends, like, see, if I did it like to you guys, I'd be like, I am oh so god, sorry, oh but I was just like. Of course. Like, nothing that, like. Can't do anything about it now. No, yeah. I don't think, I, I, she just probably went about her day or whatever and it's then like it all. <laughs> 
And I'll never forget that, just going, oh, shit. And she had these gorgeous little, like, bangs. Oh, no. That happened to me, too. I was in a car, the exact same situation. Oh. But I lit the bowl myself. <laughs> <laughs> Burn your hair? Yeah, my bangs. Oh, I was no. always terrified of, like, burning off my eyelashes and stuff when oh, I was, like, smoking on. weed. Aaron, didn't you actually, like, rip out your eyelashes with the... No, my eyebrows with silly putty. Oh, I thought... <gasps> Oh, maybe that was my friend. Oh, like... no, I was my eyelashes. I was using one of those shavers and I shaved off my <gasps> eyelashes. Oh, I had a friend in high school that I get them confused, but she was using an eyelash curler and something like scared her. And she was like, oh, oh, and she, like, oh yeah. she ripped God. off like all of her eyelashes on one eye. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. Aren't there people that will like pick them out and it's like a compulsion? I'm yes. sure. Uh. Ow, that would hurt. I know. I feel like a lot of the time they don't even like feel it, though. Ugh. I mean, I do. Like, when I'm picking off mascara. No, I mean, like, when you have, like, OCD. Right, oh, oh, right Like, right. people who are, like, picking hairs. It's just, like, a yeah. habit. Yeah. Do you think... Well, if you curl your eyelashes, do they always look curled? No. Like, I have a, I have a friend who has, I mean, like, very helps. straight eyelashes. Yeah. But he's, like, a guy. But, yeah. like, they're, they're very straight like, sometimes. And, like, it's, like, I almost, like, can't see his eye. <laughs> You're, like, get an eyelash. But I've <laughs> always... Have wanted to be like, have you ever thought about getting an eyelash curler? I just feel like it would like open yeah. up your eyes more, but I don't want to tell him yeah. to do it because I just feel like. I mean, yeah, that's a weird thing to bring up, but he could take a little hair dryer to it for like a couple seconds, make it warm. He's in it. entertainment. I just feel like you could help his like look out sometimes. Him some mascara. <laughs> <laughs> What's mascara? Is that the black stuff? Yeah, it's what I have on my. Are you what? You know what I'm mascara is. I'm just confirming. Is. I'm just Men confirming. Don't know a lot. Do you know what eyeliner is? That's the pencil. Yeah. He only that knows shit what is, guy liner is. That's scary. Yeah. Eyeliner? It's just like, no, having a sharp pencil on your the thinnest part of your fucking eye. Drawing and then you poke yourself. I wish I was good at it so bad. I Ugh. can't do it. I want to learn. To do eyeliner? Like, I nice feel like little... you did it for a long time. Yeah, but it never like looked good. I, I, I had to do it in theater a lot. Like Maybe you could teach me. No, not on the bottom. The wings? The bottom. Was that the big thing, right? People yeah. do the wings? Here is my brief Thanksgiving trauma. My long-term boyfriend of seven years comes from a very religious family. Two years ago, him and I moved in together unmarried. At Thanksgiving, his mom was going around the table saying what she was thankful for with her kids. It started with her being thankful for my boyfriend's <laughs> oldest brother who just had a kid. Then the next brother had gotten married that year and she said she was thankful for her new daughter-in-law. The second youngest boy, she said she was thankful for his music career taking it taking off. When it got to my boyfriend and I, she said, I'm thankful Luke and Dakota are, and my boyfriend's brother shouted, are living in sin. <gasps> To say the least, I wanted to die. Oh, like Living the parents didn't know? Uh, no, I think it's probably just uncomfortable when like <coughs> yeah, they're just very being... religious <laughs> and like make it an awkward yeah. situation. Oh, living in sin. Yeah. Here's a pretty... Um... Ooh, you got a stain on that shirt too. Oh. On your arm. On the elbow. Oh no. It's all purple. Other side. Look at oh, the other yeah. eye. You're kidding me. What What's is What from? happened? Hair dye? Do you know what that's from? It's from that Did purple sweater it? I gave you. No way. Oh, and then when I had that when I clothes. had that big like flood that happened in my house, uh, and remember I had to clean all my clothes and all this stuff, and then that purple thing got everywhere. Oh, or well. maybe you stole it and you took the thing off and that was the <laughs> Yeah, that was the ink exploded. You stole that from Nordstrom. Has that ever happened to anybody? The ink exploding? Yeah. No. But I would love to see if it's actually real. Me no, too. it's a scam. There's no ink. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't know. Um that's one of my favorite sweaters. <laughs> you, can, you can get Where's to get it from? <sighs> the Gap. <laughs> but it's like vintage Gap. It's a Polytechnic oh. Americana. Uh... <laughs> Polytechnic. <laughs> the year was 2015. My oh. aunt and her husband, we'll call them May and Dan, hosted, May and June. hosted Thanksgiving at their condo. I don't exactly remember what triggered it, but Dan somehow ended up going on a rampage about the Illuminati and how shootings are fake and just hoaxes created by the government to distract us from the real problems of the world, etc. What really got to me was when he started saying beyond saying that Beyonce and Jay-Z were the leaders of the Illuminati and they came to him in a dream and told him that he knows too much and they are going to come after him. Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> they came to him in a dream. And they're going to come after him. He was just saying the most ludicrous shit. I couldn't help but let out the tiniest giggle. I tried to stop it. 
I swear I did. But unfortunately, it came out and it was most definitely heard. Dan flipped out. He got so upset, he decided he was going to pull the tablecloth <gasps> off the table and attempt to flip it. The table was made of stone and glass, so he couldn't easily pull it up, which made him even angrier. So instead, he started grabbing the food that, that my aunt had just laid out and throwing it everywhere like a toddler. Needless to say, I got kicked out and had to stand outside in the cold on the side of the street and wait for my dad to come pick me up. I wasn't allowed to be in contact with them for almost two years. I still feel bad about it to this day. I was only 13, <gasps> by oh my the God. way. Good oh grief, my Dan. God. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, my aunt no longer has to endure the relationship. They are divorced. Oh, thankfully. Could you imagine being 13 years old and like I mean, that this... happens and then they make you stand yeah. outside? That's mental illness. Wait, yeah. why, did they make her, why were they like... Because okay. she was like laughing oh. at his crazy... Beyonce and Jay-Z came to him in a dream. <laughs> and they're going to come after me themselves. Yeah, but I think that's just like the epitome of Thanksgiving. There's like always these like crazy family stories. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've never really experienced that. Yeah, I haven't either. But like I would love to be at one where something like that happens. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. Do you want to ruin your day with some crazy person throwing food? No, I think that would be so fun. If I saw like a grown man try to rip the tablecloth off a table. <laughs> and then it wasn't working. Like, yeah. Hilarious. And like all because like I laughed because Jay-Z and Beyonce came to him in a dream. That'd be a sight to see. That would be so funny. But yeah. my heart goes out to people who have to go to Thanksgiving and, and they have ruined. to deal with oh, like relatives yeah. or loved ones or family friends who are like that. Like, Absolutely. Yeah, it's when that you see, sucks. like, it's like the obligation of seeing your weird family that you would literally never, ever yeah. hang out with or see. But there's just this, like, pressure and obligation to, like, I don't know. And there's always that one family member where you're like, are they coming this year? Oh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see if like, Grandpa oh, shows up. Oh, God, I hope not. And yeah. then they come and then it's like, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh God, they're wow. going to be there. See, that's why you just got to move to L.A., Ditch your family. No, literally. Just have Friendsgiving. Yeah, have Friendsgiving yeah. at Aaron's house. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I will get home. I, I think I'm, I, I don't, I'm, I'll send I'll you here. the invitation. It's fair. Party full? Oh, no, no, no. It's just like a little. My graphic. Yeah. Oh, you made a graphic? That I make on my desktop. It was oh. really sad because last year I used the, like, photo from the Friends episode where Phoebe has oh. the turkey on her head and Chandler's in it. Oh. I think it's Phoebe. I don't really know. No, I did that for Monica? Friendsgiving one Monica's time. Monica's in it. That's her in the turkey. Yeah. And um, it just like has the details. And so I was going to do that again. Sad. But then I was like, oh, no, it's too dark. So I used a cornucopia. It's decorative gourd season. <laughs> it's like very autumnal. I think it's very cute. Yeah. Autumnal. Autumnal. Is that, that a Taylor Friends Swift episode? word? No, no, it's not. But thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah, Carly, how did you learn that big word? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it must be a Taylor Swift <laughs> lyric. I'm studying the dictionary. Did I read this one? Yeah, I read this one on Reddit. We definitely read the same thread because I oh. knew those ones you read. I was around five to six years old. Us kids were playing hide and seek and I hid way in the back of grandma's closet. While I was hiding back there, I found this beautiful deep red robe. I assumed it belonged to my grandfather who died just after I was born. I tried it on and it was huge on me, but the silk felt really smooth. <laughs> And cool. So, <laughs> what's going on here? So I decided to, it's just because I know what's going to happen. So I decided to go ask my grandma if I could have it to grow into. Turns out granddad was a grand dragon in the Carolina <gasps> KKK. <laughs> And it was his what? and it was his ceremonial robe. The family members who didn't know about this oh. already were highly upset. Oh my the god. The ones who knew were embarrassed as hell. There was a small riot when I walked into the kitchen wearing it. That was oh. an awkward oh. thing. Oh my god. <laughs> like just like it's funny because like the kid's so sweet no, and he's yeah. like, oh, yeah. so it's like Innocent. a nice big silk robe. I can you would grow into it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I love it. It's so comfy. And then it's like such a dark fucking yes. mystery. Oh my god. Like, could you imagine being at that Thanksgiving? Oh. That's <laughs> why did he say the grandma try to like justify yeah, like, why it? Why did oh, well, she not he... throw it away? Yeah. But I mean I mean when you never know people, she yeah. probably could have been like, Yay. Right. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> Or maybe she Go King! Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. We all have our social She's groups. Right. It's a, it's <laughs> a, it's a rotary club. Yeah. That's what Dale had. It's a very 
very nice robe. It wasn't. Oh, oh my God, it that would used feel. to be. It's just a friend. men's group. It's just a men's it's group. It's just a men's group. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, a couple more. I thought it would be a funny prank to put a rubber chicken in the oven on Thanksgiving. Oh, I have this My one. mom would laugh and laugh. Ho, ho, ho. There's a rubber chicken in the oven. What a gag. 13-year-old <laughs> me didn't realize that normally adults usually preheat the oven before putting the turkey in. I know. Oh, I read no. that one. I was like, so did it like melt? It like, had to have. I always open an oven before I turn it on to make too. sure there's nothing in there. Because a lot of people keep like pans and stuff yeah, in no, their no, first storage. Pans, so yeah. like, I, can't. Dude, I did that growing up. One time like... Uh, Noah Cyrus like posted that her mom. Yeah, we like, said this last year. Oh, yeah. oh we did. We did. They yeah. left Dis- the turkey. It, like, it in disgusted the oven. me. I was and like, how they have tons of money? Is nobody like checking the oven? Yeah, oh, she left it in the oven for like six they, like, months. Took yeah for like th- I think like three weeks. Like there was a whole like, ecosystem yeah. growing in there. <laughs> that is crazy when you like see. Like, I feel like after will... a week you would smell it. Surely, uh, no. Yeah, it's crazy that like food will just turn into like a like living poison. creature. <laughs> yeah. After Rat like poison. weeks. Yeah. No, it's like uh, I keep seeing all these things where it's like this college student left pasta on their counter and then they got this like and then they ate it and Ugh. got this like deadly disease and died. Oh, my God. oh yeah, you oh. can't eat Stuff spoiled you food. Yeah. I'm like pasta. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, no, pasta is like a big thing. I know, but like, thing. I'm like, how no, did I survive saying, college? Why? Were you just being a psychopath? Yeah, I went full goblin mode when I would come <laughs> home from the bar. <laughs> well, pasta's like fine if you just cook it and make, eat it. No, but yeah, it's but, already cooked. Yeah, once it's cooked and then you like leave the sauce sitting out, yeah. it starts to go bad really fast. Yeah. Like within hours, like three hours, it's unedible. Inedible. So if I have leftover pasta from a restaurant, I shouldn't eat it. No, you can't the fridge. leave it out. Oh, yeah, okay. Like people think, oh, let it cool. Well, that's the other thing is like, do you want to let your food cool yes. down before you put it in the fridge or do you want to put it in the fridge hot? I yeah. know. There's what? so many rules. I know. It's so complicated. Put it in the fridge hot. Yes. But there but... used to be a thing that you wanted to let the food at least cool to room temperature TJ's before you put it in that. the fridge. Because back in the olden days, refrigerators were not nearly as efficient or like powerful. So if you were to put hot food into the fridge, it would potentially spoil all the other food because it would raise the temperature inside of the fridge and then all of your other refrigerated products would also that's go above so, their safe temperature so like your yogurts and your milks would spoil if you put hot like a big bowl of hot Weird. super pasta so that's where the idea of like leave it out to but nowadays you could throw your hot food in the that's, fridge and you'll okay, be fine she always leaves it out to yeah. I, that, this stuff is so interesting yeah, to me like is there a way to do, do an that? episode of like what is that called mike stuff mike us. knows yeah, yeah. Stuff mike knows. <laughs> no but that's you know I mean? crazy like, I, like I, I, the other day, like, I looked. I will not remember that. Like, I will take it away. Yeah. And then if, like, someone brings up, I'm like, oh well, it's because like, in the in the old <laughs> days, like uh, literally a month from now, I would be like, oh, it happens because of this, but I would do a terrible I job think explaining it. Makes it makes sense to what? Yeah. Like what you're explaining. It totally like, does. Oh, refrigerators like you, were different back can then. I tell you something? Because if you I just put, made that all up. Did you really? No, no, no. Oh no. my god, I was like, <laughs> I was, uh, I was about to kill you. Piss. <laughs> So yeah, like, I feel like the way you retain information and then say it back, it's like I feel like I'm listening to an audiobook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, really? Did you guys know that Spotify now has like a shit ton of audiobooks for, for free? free? Yes. Yeah. Like good ones? With their membership. Um, I mean, the one that was advertised was I'm glad my mom died. So I Britney think so. Spears oh. came up for me like this yeah. morning. Maybe I'll but just I was like, but when I click this, are they going to like charge me? No, it, it Maybe comes you'll with your like membership. Because I don't because like you don't Audible's like reading. credits. Yeah. It sucks like I have like five audible credits right now, but then I'm like, can I just cancel it? But I still use my credits and I know like, once you cancel all the credits go away. Yeah. No, oh. so buy so buy the books you want and then you But can... I don't think I can access the books anymore once the membership's done. No, I think you can. I don't know. Maybe we should just be thankful that we can hey. even listen to books instead of having to read them. No, I I like reading. I love my audiobooks. I like reading too. But well, you're not reading them; nice... you're listening. Yes, I yeah, am. I've been trying to like, get off listening. listening to books. That's such too. nonsense. No, that's literally fact. No, it's you. What? The whole point of a book you're is not to... reading it. You're listening to it. You are the defi- getting... by definition. Okay. You are listening. Sure. You're but kind the whole, of... the whole point. Book. The whole point of a book Skating by. is to transmit <laughs> the thoughts that are in the author's head into your head. Yeah. Sure. There's traditionally been one way of doing that, which is. Reading. reading squiggly lines on a piece of tree 
And that's a way to transmit. Stop that. making it sound. From it's the meditative, though. Like I think reading is like really good for. Yeah, but look, I think like you saying I read this book I, is incorrect. No, you listened to I, the book. I'm listening. There are you are saying it yourself. There are different ways of transmitting the information. Sure. Okay. People read it. People listen. So let's say we're talking about a book, and I was like, I listened to that on Audible. Would you yeah, think that's that we, fine. Would yeah. you think that we've had a different experience? No. And, and no. We, oh, no, okay. No. That's no. that's my whole point. But like, I, I think you going, you, oh yeah, I read that. But yeah. deep down, you're like, are right, listen to? You, yeah. You gotta come. Oh, like, you gotta come. A little bit of truth. I okay. think if you're just saying Complain. it quickly, like if we're talking about a book, I'm like, oh yeah, I read that too, and I had listened to it, I wouldn't feel weird about it. But if we were like having a conversation about a book, I'd be like, oh, I listened to that. I listened to it. I feel like if you're in a book club and you're the one like listening You're cheating. to it i'd be a little like okay <laughs> no yeah well it's also like you can do it like in the car right. like in all these while places while you're making coffee while you're yeah. having lunch when you're sitting down the act of reading like you cannot do that there's it's a, a different there's a, experience there is a romance to reading yes yeah i get that but I feel like some people will look down on me if like we're talking about the same thing oh, and I'm like, no, I, I listened to it and you read it and no, you're like, I just think you need to be honest. <laughs> I'm not trying to deceive anyone. I think it's just if someone's like, oh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger biography. Oh, yeah. I listened to that on Audible. <laughs> I, I would say I'm listening to that right now. Yeah. But if someone's like, did you read that? I'd be like, yeah, I'm getting through it right now. I mean, no, yeah, I, I feel that's like, a lie. I mean, I feel like that's whatever. So you just say I'm listening to it. I don't think it's a lie. But I think there's certain books. There's also certain writing that's so amazing to actually read it than listen no, to I it. No, I know. Like a Kurt Vonnegut book. I don't want to hear anyone else read that. Like I want to read that. I'm Me happy either. you're listening to Kitchen Confidential. Anthony Bourdain, but, but I love. It, dude, Icebreaker? is so good. Wait, did it's, you finish um the, Icebreaker? did you read the, what is it? Me Meadows. Mm -hmm. Icebreakers? Yeah, but not that one. Oh, the, the one. wildfires? Or... Oh, yeah, wildfires. No, I never. No, I didn't get around to it. I'm reading. I'm reading the Perfect Marriage right now Ooh. by Geneva Rose, the and I, it's my rings. book. I started a book club. You did? What? With who? Interesting yeah. to have with not who? been invited. Yeah. Me? What? Well, okay. We it started a conversation. Yeah. Mike, you can join. I just didn't know. No, like, he knows no. you listen to books. No, so it's you're fine. No, just the three people that you talk about books. Well, with. it all started on like Halloween. We uh, talk. So it's me, my brother, Will Derbyshire, and Connor Franta. Oh, I don't want to yeah, be in that. It's going to be all. We are having a blast right now. Mike, you can join the next round. No, it's okay. But then I just felt like book you four are reading. Well, because we were like, let's start with something kind of easy, a little sexy, a little fun that we can all like kind of goof and laugh at. And we are loving it right I'm now. You should trick them and be like, this one's really good. And it's the things we never got over book. The one what? that you tried to read. No. The things. W yes. He, Which you one? tried to read that? No, we had him read it. Oh, like, yeah. Like the sex scene or whatever at your it, house. No, it's terrible. Oh, yeah. But I know, but it'd be like a joke. Like they, yeah. the rain's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ugh, yeah. Connor's already like at page one hundred like fifteen right now in the book, and we're like, "What? We just started yesterday." Oh, and he's me. like, I'm... "That's the me of the group." Because like we're supposed to have a meeting and like cast everybody, like all the characters on who we think oh, we should play that. that. Too. Yeah. Funny. Sounds fun, guys. <laughs> I, feel I like... just didn't know, Mike. If this first book, you'd be like, "Ah, oh, this is stupid." Like nah, I, I thought fine. you would be like, "No, no, I'm reading. I'm reading a couple I didn't things think right you now." Would be that I just didn't That's think you would actually I, want to read it. I love about Audible too is it is different voices that are reading it, and I usually try and only pick books that are read by the author. Sometimes there's like professional actors that will read it, like professional voice people. Eh, but like Arnold Schwarzenegger's book, him reading it. Adam Grant, this. Uh, Did you really read Arnold Schwarzenegger's book? He just put out a new one that's well, like he really good. Listen to it. Yes, I listened to it. <laughs> Does he address his, his, his maid? Uh, I don't think so, no. I haven't gotten to that. I haven't finished it yet, but... Why are you... This is so interesting. You're you're interested in that. What it takes to become the greatest ever. Hell no. I actually could not Hell no. <laughs> Drive on a cliff. I, there's a housewife. She, like, wrote a book, and she narrates it, but she is, like... Who? She can't read? Heather? No, she literally is illiterate. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so, like, her reading it, I was like... It sounds like she's try like reading a word for the first time right. ever. Like Gary Vaynerchuk also wrote a book and he tries to read the audiobook and he can't read. Yeah. And it's just like, it just dude, t take she's a She's like take sounding a out the words. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, Teresa, the epit epitome yeah. uh, <laughs> of business. Epitome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she also has like a thick Jersey accent too. So oh it's like that God. mixed with like you can tell being they record, stupid. Yeah, you can tell they recorded it like sentence by sentence yes. because yes. it's yes. not Changes flowing yes. into like the next like part. Yeah. Um, I love when like certain celebrities read like old classics on Audible too. Like Maggie Gyllenhaal reads The Bell Jar. It's very good. 
Oh, is that Sylvia Jake Plath? Gyllenhaal reads like The Great Gatsby. I think Elijah Wood does Huck Finn. Ooh, pretty, does not he... The Hobbit. Do you guys want to start a book club? Do you guys want to read the Arnold Schwarzenegger biography? I would read it. It's pretty good. Well, I actually did start watching that Netflix show and I was a little bored. Which show? His show. He has a show on Netflix? It's probably like the book, but in mm. movie form. I like Pumping Iron. I like that documentary. Oh, yeah. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have, a, have a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving. And if you don't, that's fine.